The Buzzard Bluff hunting extravaganza starts off like any other trip with lots of uh, trips to the grocery store so we can make things like chili and and uh, Brunswick stew and we also made some cornbread this year and we cooked some ribs. Of course, all the thirsty hunters need to have plenty of Shinerbach beer from Texas. We had a special treat this year. Uh, Rob Vinson joined the hunt and uh, he was... Uh, crucial in helping me organize all the gear into all the food into the coolers and all the gear into the trailer and uh, we took a trailer this year for the first time and boy did we pack that sucker up um, almost all the way full from that little bitty jeep to the big trailer and there we are trailer packed up car packed up and we are headed off to buzzard bluff this year we seem to have gotten there early you can see the sun in the sky there uh, we got there when, with plenty of light to get everything unpacked and, and uh, get the camp set and that night have a nice campfire. The next morning we always like to get up and have coffee on the bluff because it's just a gorgeous view. And uh, I think this time and uh, instead of cooking at the camp we decided to go into town and get some things. So we stopped off at Cracker Barrel so we can get a really good meal on our stomach so that we can have lots of energy for the big day of work ahead of us. As always, we had to stop in at A to Z to pick up our licenses and any extra gear that we needed. And uh, we were pleasantly surprised again to see the locals there practicing their music. As soon as we finished up at A to Z, we ran back to camp, got the camp all set up, and then we went out and we set up all the deer blinds. Of course, we had Rob with us this year, so it went a little bit faster, and uh, we set up the climbing tree stands and the tripods and, uh, and our tent stand, and uh, had Rob with us to help us scout. We found a lot of great places where, we, where there were deer moving around and uh, found places for us to set up. We even had a little bit of extra time to sight in the rifles and play around with a crossbow that a friend of mine let me bring to test out. As you can see, we did okay. Now Rob, being the master of the game that he is, he brought a secret weapon to the camp this year, something that was going to allow him to bag the biggest deer. Of course, I thought it was a bunch of hooey. I had my own special weapon, my secret sauce, maple syrup, just put a little behind each ear. We'll see who gets the biggest deer in just a minute. That night our cheerleaders came out to check up on us, make sure we were still alive and uh, give us a good send off into the deer hunting season. We all sat around the fire, ate chili and had a great time. Now let's see how all of our hard work paid off. Rob was the first one to bring a deer in. He got a six-point buck, and that was the first one he'd shot in a, in a long time, so he was super proud of that. I came in with a second deer with a doe. Um, it was the first time I'd shot a deer with an open sights Winchester. I was proud of that one, too. Then Rob found a secret spot. He had been doing some scouting, and he found a lot of deer activity, and he made a ground blind so he could uh, sit down and, and uh, be hidden and see what was what was digging up all the dirt and boom 
boy, it was like eight eight o'clock in the morning. He shot that, and we uh, we all came running to see what he shot, and it was a, a probably close to as big of the one as Neil shot that first year. And boy, it was a heavy deer hauling that sucker out. And Martin shot one too, but we don't have any photos of it. Now let's take a look at the tote board to see if uh, see if Rob's special sauce uh, outperformed my special sauce. All right, let's look at the trophy count. The four hunters were Rob, Martin, Kit, and Neil. And Rob ended the hunt with three deer. He got one after the first two that we showed on the video. Martin got one that was not videoed or photographed. I ended up with one that we saw the video, and Neil with a whopping zero. <laughs> Sorry about the red ink, Neil, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, Neil was only there for a weekend, though. He didn't have as much time. Of course, there's a lot more that goes on besides hunting at the deer camp. There's uh, lots of camaraderie, hanging around the campfire, telling stories, cooking food, eating food. It's all a really good time. Um, yeah, we didn't all get three deer like the master of the game, but we all had a great time, and uh, we ended up bringing a lot of meat home. 